Good morning, this is Mrs Clark and I'm here to tell you about British Science Week 2024. This is running from Friday the 8th of March to Sunday the 17th of March and this year's theme is time. They're also looking at Smashing Stereotypes. Smashing Stereotypes is a collection of over 40 stories from individuals and teams that challenge long-standing stereotypes with the aim of encouraging more young people from all backgrounds to th see themselves as scientists. Ask your science teachers to post the website on your class teams. This week is also National Careers Week and so you'll find some interesting science careers as you explore through. And if you go on Compound Interest, it's got profiles from disabled scientists. You can download the secondary 2024 pack, which has got lots of activities for you to try at home. So now I thought I'd go through all of the subjects that you do in school and have a look at where they might relate to time. So here are some books with time in the title that you might study in English. What texts have you been studying in English lately? How do they relate to time? Maths is where you learn to tell the time and appreciate the concept of it. We do lots of calculations in science, but a common one is rate, rate of reaction, rate of photosynthesis, and it's very similar to speed in physics. Here is a works by Salvador Dali in art, The Persistence of Memory, which is one of the most recognisable works of surrealism. Then when you're in health and well-being this week, you can think about cooking food. How long do you cook your food for? Does it have burned crispy bits? This is what you'd associate with roast potatoes, barbecue food, toast. Well, this creates a substance called acrylamide. There's a minor concern that it might cause cancer. There's only evidence in animals, though. In PE, do a lot of timing in there. Races are always timed. We've got breathing rates, we've got heart rates, we've got respiration rates. In geography, you study rocks, you study volcanoes. Geology is the study of time and pressure. So you should be familiar with the rock cycle from science as well. In science, we study the early atmosphere and compare it to the atmosphere today, which is, has a lot to do with volcanoes and the CO2 which they emit. In your lessons this week in science, you should ask your teacher about what they're doing in the lesson and how this relates to time. History goes hand in hand with the study of time. Science have got lots of elements of history in it, just like the history of the atom that some of you are studying at GCSE and also the history of medicine that you're studying in GCSE history has overlaps with biology. All the notes in music have a pitch as well as a count. Where would music be without time? This year returns our annual poster competition where the theme is time. So how does science and time come together for you personally? The closing date is the 11th of March 24 and you can hand this in at the prep room. Those of you that have got Science Unit 1 on Friday the 8th of March, you could ask your teachers to sign up for the live assembly. There are also lots of other events to get involved in. So watch this space and don't forget to ask your teachers in all subjects how their lessons during Science Week relate to time.